Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your S&P 500 day trade setups for today. And uh, you can see what we had yesterday. We sort of had a move back onto a bit of structure and then a pretty solid bounce to the upside. I do not like the way the oscillators are looking on the 8th hour. We do have a crossover brewing, a proper crossover for a, a bullish move. But I think um, if you've been watching the videos for a while now, you'll realize uh, if you start reading your textbooks, you'll see how long it actually takes for a turn to happen. So um, especially when you've got, uh, when everybody is saying, you know, the economy is bad and when the data is pointing to a, a really shocking economy, inflation is up and you've got wars and uh, pandemics, etc., etc. So um, at the moment, these two levels are still very much in play that we looked at yesterday. And um, the first one, which is this 45.24, which is a weekly level. Uh, and you can see we bounced quite nicely off it with a pin bar. And then, um, in my opinion, an exhaustion bar that formed. And then we just went sideways. So uh, the trend is up on the three hour. Definitely no reason to be doubting that. And um, you can see if you'd actually jumped in on this pin bar in the three hour and just... Uh, Close your eyes and held it, you'd still be holding at the moment, probably be looking for an opportunity uh, to sell, but your stop would be moved up at the moment. So um, moving down to the hour, where can we get in? So here was the first opportunity. And remember, I always say, you know, very reluctant to take the opportunities when they are in the European session. Often what happens is that level gets tested again, which is exactly what happened. And uh, before we just look at today, let's just look at yesterday on the 15 minute. And uh, you can see there was an opportunity there, a small little opportunity for a move up. And you could basically just trail to stop up until you got stopped out. Uh, and there's the market open. You see the buyers trying to come in here, but there's no structure that they're buying off. So uh, it's basically a lot of people just buying because for the sake of buying, or are they trading off the three minutes or one minute or five minute charts or something. Uh, and what the market was looking for was a big solid weekly level, which was 45.24. Um, that level always trumps everything else. And you've also got a gap down here, uh, which kind of closed or didn't close, but irrelevant to you. That is the structure. And then you can see you know, some decent price action that starts happening off the level, moving over just a little pointing up around the 155 EMA, probably around the 200 EMA in actual fact um, on the 15 minute and then a solid move to the upside. So today, apart from the oscillators, which is uh, really concerning me, uh, what we're looking for is, just want to put another level in, is a pullback on structure. And there's my closest structure. Bear in mind that each one of these tails could offer support as well. So I'm looking for a pullback on support. Uh, at the moment, it's 45.58. Uh, Fibonacci level could also work. And then I'm looking for another move up to tag this 45.89 or 45.90 area. Just bear one thing in mind, we could tag it this morning. Uh, first, so just run up to it, tag it, and then bounce off it uh, for a pullback. So this is the zone that I'm looking at at the moment. I'm really looking at 45.58. And uh, the reason for this move is really just uh, the Kremlin saying that they, they don't see a need to use nuclear weapons in the Ukraine. So anyway, that is kind of my view at the moment. It is definitely by the dips as far as I'm concerned on the lower time frames. So um, and if you look at the 15 minutes, uh, the 155 EMA is a fairly decent place to pay attention. And uh, also on the 15 minute, you can see you've got one, two, three, four fractals here on the inside. Each one of those would be an opportunity to buy. So um, if I was watching this on the 15 minute. This is kind of the view that my chart would have today. And I'd be waiting for any price action in here. If that fails, I'll be looking down here. And if that fails, then I'll definitely be looking down here. But I think at the moment, we've got a pretty good break here. A nice solid hard breakthrough. Uh, we had a one bar pullback onto this level. So it's not good enough for me. I want to see a second pullback. So that's kind of my view. I'm looking somewhere in between 45.58 and 45.53 and probably just rounded off to 45.50 nice round number so um put your alerts in and wait for price action and see what happens anyway hope it helps and uh, we will catch up with you tomorrow morning cheers for now